Hey guys, it's Kat again, and today I thought I would show you how to make these cute little coffee coasters. They look like little coffee mugs. Um, I got the pattern from uh, Repeat Crafter Me. I will put the link down on the bottom. I do make it a little um, different way of ending it on the back here, so um, pay attention to that because it's not exactly the same ending as hers is. But um, they're super cute. Um, so I made four different colors. You can make them all the same color. Um, I'm going to show you how I made this color. I've already pre-made these three. So um, let me show you what you're going to need and let's make these cute little guys. Okay. Okay, so here's the stuff you're going to need. Um, you're going to need some worsted weight worsted weight yarn. Um, a dark co chocolate color for um, so it looks like the coffee is inside the cup. Your choice of um, coffee cup color. A size H um, hook. Uh, I use a counter, just easier for me. Um, tapestry needle and some scissors. And that's it. So let me, it's going to be a quick and easy one. And you can make it the same color, different color. You can even do like stripe ones. So do it however you want it. Let me just show you, um, let me just show you how I make it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're going to chain seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to go through your second um, hook or your second chain on your um, on your chain here. So not this one. You're going to go to the next one and you're going to do six single crochets so you put your hook in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through so that's one two three four five and six you're just gonna chain one and you're gonna turn And you're going to single crochet across again. So you're going to have six single crochets. So go into your loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that's one, two, three, four, five, last one, six. You're going to chain one again turn and now you're going to do two single crochets in your first um, stitch here so hook in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through so that's one and there's two and now you're going to do four single ones across one two three four and you're going to do two in the last one again so one Two, chain one and turn. You're just going to go across your eight here. One, two, three, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain one and turn. You're going to do two in your first, two single crochets in your first stitch again. So one, two, you're going to work eight across. One, two, three, four, five, oops, I meant six. You're going to crochet six across and two in your last stitch here. One, two, chain one and turn. You're going to crochet eight stitches across. So there's one, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got this counting thing all wrong. You're going to cr crochet ten stitches across. Nine, 
and 10. Now where my head is today, chain one and turn. You're gonna do two in here. So one, two, and then you're gonna crochet, <coughs> excuse me, you're gonna crochet eight here. <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you're gonna do two in the last one here. One, two, chain one, and turn. Now what you're gonna do next is you're gonna do five rows of your 12 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. So let's do five rows doing your 12 stitches and I'll see you when you've done that. Okay, so after you've done your five rows of 12, you're gonna chain one and turn and you're gonna do this. You are going to do, okay. You're gonna do a double crochet, which is yarn over. You're gonna go through your first stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, you're gonna pull through two of your, two loops. You're gonna yarn over and pull through the other two loops, and that's a double crochet. Next stitch you're gonna make is you're gonna make a half double crochet. A half double crochet is yarn over. Go through the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all the loops. And that's a half double crochet. Then you're gonna do eight single crochets. One, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and you're gonna do another half double crochet right here in the next stitch. And you're gonna do a double crochet in your last stitch. And you're not gonna chain one and, and turn. You are going to change your color to your coffee color. So the way I attach my yarn is I yarn over and I pull through my existing color and then I chain one and then I tighten the old color, tighten the new color, I turn and this is what you do with the next one. You are going to do two, you're going to do single crochet in the first two stitches. Oops. So there's one. There's two. You're gonna do a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then you're gonna do six double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, Next stitch is a half double crochet. And the last two are single crochets. Come on. And now you can just tie it off because this is all you're gonna do. So you're just gonna one chain one here. Okay. And then you're gonna take your this yarn here. And you are going to, uh, you are good. What are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna slip stitch up here. So, what I do is, is, I take my hook and I put it in through the biggest hole right here. I yarn over and I pull through and I just chain one just so it kind of goes around. And then you're just gonna do slip stitches in the back loops only. So, you go into the back loop here yarn over, pull through, and pull through. So back, back stitch here, yarn over, pull through, pull through. And you do that all the way to the end there. Okay. 
then single crochet all the way around till you get to right here. So, and what I do is, I don't go right in the middle here, I kind of go in between, just so it looks cleaner. Kind of like that, I hope you guys can see that. And then I single crochet, and then my next row is right here, and then again, kind of in between the two, like that. So you're going to do that all the way around until you get to this side right here. Okay, so when you get to right here, what I do is I slip stitch it to this guy right here. So I go under that here, I go through both loops, and then yarn over, pull through. Oh, I didn't go under both. I have to go under both. There we go. Pull through and pull through. You've made a slip stitch. You're going to chain one. And you're going to turn. And you're going to do three slip stitches down the way here. I don't start with this one because then it makes it all bulky lumpy. I start with the next one. So yarn over, pull through, and then just pull through. Come on. So there's one two, and three, and then you're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you're going to attach it down, I think it's the ninth, the ninth stitch here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, that sounds right, nine. You're going to put your hook through, you're going to yarn over, you're going to slip stitch it here, so pull through, you're going to chain one, turn, and then you're going to do, I think it was 13 half double crochets in here, so yarn over, <clears throat> go inside your chain here, pull through, and you're going to pull all, pull through all three, so you're going to do 13 half double crochets, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, whoops, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, and then you're going to uh, slip stitch it to the very, f um, where you first started making your chain 8, so you're going to go in that hole, yarn over, pull through, pull through, yarn over, and you're going to cut that off, and there is your handle. So now you're just going to um, tie it off, weave in your ends, and you have a cute little cup cozy or mug cozy, coffee cup mugs cozy. You make them any color again. If you want to change the colors, you can make them a striped coffee cozy, um, whatever you want. You can maybe add like a little string with a little tea bag on the end. <clears throat> maybe make it a lighter color so it could be a teacup cozy. So it's all kind of cute little ideas. Um, so that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, ideas, please let me know. I would love to hear them. Um, uh, I will post down where I got this, where I got this pattern, but again, in the end here, I've kind of altered it to my own, because I really didn't, um, what, what she had written down really wasn't working out for me, so I just kind of changed it, um, for my own self, so, um, maybe when you guys have the pattern, if you print it out, maybe you can write it down or something, because I don't want to take her pattern, it's her pattern, so, um, I don't want to put it on my, my website as my pattern because it's not my pattern. I just changed a couple things on here on the end. So, um, again, if making this too long, if you guys have any ideas, give me some ideas. I would love to make whatever you guys want to make. I try to make a little bit of everything for everybody. I like to make a little, like, something different all the time myself. I get kind of bored of doing the same old thing, so I always like to make something new. So, um, again, 
thank you guys for watching really appreciate it and um subscribe and all that good stuff and I haven't had a giveaway in like forever and I'm almost at 900 subscribers which I am totally excited about. I really appreciate that from you guys. So maybe I can do like a giveaway and maybe you guys can give me an idea for a giveaway. So let me know what you guys thoughts are and um, just comment below or Instagram me or Facebook me. So I um, totally appreciate it guys and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.